Thank you for stopping and watching this video. My name is Anthony Richardson. I am a minority owned fire alarm and security company. I am licensed by New York State to install fire alarm and security here in New York City. Today, I'm here on a service call because they were having some battery troubles, so I'm here to replace the battery. But I want to explain a little bit about the backup battery and how the backup battery works on a fire alarm system. So, fire alarm system is looking for 24 volts battery backup. So, we have two 12 volt 7 amp hour batteries, and they're actually wired in series in order for two 12 volts become 24 volts, you have to wire it in series. You may have to do a little bit of research to understand what series and parallel circuits are. However, you can wire these two batteries up in series so that way you get 24 volts for the circuit. Now, to know if a battery is good, when you first get a battery, the battery should be anywhere between 13 and 13 and a half volts. Anything below 13.0 volts, your battery is discharging, your battery is dying. Anything less than 12 and a half volts, you're going to get a low battery signal. So if you have two 12 volt batteries and one 12 volt battery is giving you 12.5 and then this battery is giving you another 12.5 when you put them in series together you have about 25 volts so the threshold for this fire alarm panel is looking for anything 25 and a half to 27 and a half volts so anything in between there is a good battery condition but anything below there is going to be a bad battery condition you're in a low battery trouble so what you do is how you can determine if either one of the batteries are good or bad you disconnect both terminals from off the battery so that way it's the battery itself you have yourself a trust the fluke meter so that way you can test and measure the voltage so you want to go red to red black to black and you will see that this is 12.1 12.0 volts so if i have two batteries that's sitting at 12.0 volts this panel is looking for a threshold of 25 and a half volts and above it's going to give you a low battery signal so someone supposedly had came and changed the batteries i'm still getting a low battery signal so i'm going to change the batteries because these batteries whomever they said changed them this date is 2018 they would have changed them this would have been 2023 so nobody changed the batteries and this is about the time the batteries do need to be changed it's about five six years so since we actually installed this system here so it is about that time for these batteries to be having troubles because it's about five six years after that date so i'm going to replace these batteries respect and polarity red to red black to black let me show you and this jumper is here is, is what makes it a series circuit and also would get from 12 volts to 24 volts. Got our batteries here, power sonic. See the polarity? Red, black. So when you put them in a series circuit and you have your two wires coming off the fire alarm panel, the black wire will go to the black wire, the red wire will go to the red wire. You will put this jump in between and that would take 12 volts multiplied by two to give you 24 volts black to black and then now we put our circuit in series so that way we can get our 24 volt before i do that let me show you what a good battery measurement would look like see this is 12.93 once it hit the charging circuit the battery will be able to charge over 13 volts so if i come back in 24 hours and measure this again i will have over 13 volts on this particular battery but the other battery was 12.01 way less than a 12 point half threshold than it needed to be those batteries in fact needed to be changed so we're good here now the, the low battery signal should clear once the uh, panel sees the uh, right voltage. So while I'm waiting for that, let me show you the measurement when you have two batteries and two batteries in series and I have my polarity wrong, but that's fine. Two batteries in series give me 26.8 volts. It's climbing because it's getting a charge from the charging circuit from the fire alarm system. So as it's charging, it's going to build up to 27 and a half volts. That's, that's nominal where it needs to be. Anything less than 25 and a half volts, you're going to get a low battery signal. If your battery is discharging and you measure your one battery and you're getting less than 12 and a half volts, just change the battery. That's how we change the battery. Our system is now normal. I want to thank you for watching this video. I want you to go to my website, www.securitysecurities.com. Click that login button. Join the secure community. If you have any questions, that's where you can post it, and I'll answer. Talk to you later. Peace.